We have built a slow flying aircraft made of carbon fiber strips and cling film. We need carbon fiber strips 500 mm long, 5 mm wide and 1 mm thick. The wings are formed by joining two strips lengthwise. We make two rectangles. The joints between the strips are made with cyanoacrylate glue and sewing thread. The overall dimensions of the wings are 19 by 98 centimeters, so we have a wing area of 0.1862 square meters. The carbon strips are joined at their corners using a piece of thick wire in an L shape. To add a certain dihedral angle to the wings, which provides lateral stability to the aircraft, we tension the wings with cotton thread. The thread hooks diagonally on the wire corners. These wings have a weight of 31 grams. The tail is formed using various materials such as carbon fiber strips, 3 mm diameter wooden toothpicks, cling film and 3 mm thick depron sheets. The vertical stabilizer is a triangle 20 cm in base and 13 in height. The horizontal stabilizer is a 24 lower base, 34 upper base, and 12 high trapezoid. The rudders are about 10 cm wide. The tail has a weight of 25 grams. We join the tail with the wings to form the body of the plane. In such a way that the horizontal stabilizer has one or two degrees of decalage. The distance from the trailing edge of the wings to the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer is 21 cm. The assembled structure weighs 70 grams. We covered the wings with cling film. We stretch the film as much as we can, and apply cyanoacrylate glue to the edges of the carbon fiber strips. The cling film will not provide the tension we want, so we add cross strips of scotch tape. The longitudinal carbon fiber strips do not buckle vertically, but they do buckle laterally. To avoid this phenomenon, the entire structure has been triangulated with cotton thread. This will make the whole structure move as one piece. In addition, so that the engine torque does not cause the nose of the device to buckle, we have placed a flat carbon fiber strip under the longitudinal strip, to form a kind of T-shaped profile. A flat ice cream stick is also added above. In the end, we have an H-shaped profile that provides torsional and transverse rigidity to the nose. The electronics are placed on the ice cream stick. The motor is mounted on a flat piece of wood. To power the aircraft, we added an 1806 engine with a speed constant of 2400. The propeller is a 5-inch diameter two-blade APC. The ESC is 12 amps. The battery is two cells and 500 mAh. We prepared a first version that weighs 185 grams, with all the electronics included. This version includes 10 grams of plasticine that we move at will to test different centers of gravity. After several tests, we placed the center of gravity 7 cm from the leading edge of the wing. The plane shows serious defects. The carbon fiber strips flex more than they should which sometimes causes the aircraft to acquire an excessive dihedral angle. The lift force is not constant because of the change in the angle of the wings. For practical purposes, the plane is unmanageable. In the second version, a vertically arranged carbon fiber strip has been added, attached to the wings at the ends, and supported by a wood strut in the center. This strip will prevent the wings from flexing, both up and down. The aircraft now gets some structural rigidity that makes it stable and manageable. The electronics are rearranged to remove the plasticine weights, so that this version weighs 179 grams.
the wing loading is 0.96 kg per square meter. The aircraft performs well, both indoors and outdoors. However, a problem is detected. When it flies outdoors, and receives a tailwind, the wings deform and the plane stalls. We have been able to observe the phenomenon on two different occasions, as you can see in the following images. For the third version, we have added one more crossbar on the trailing edge of the wing. The propeller has been changed to a 5-inch diameter 3-blade. This provides a higher top speed to solve situations with a tailwind. Remember that, in these situations, the airspeed of the aircraft is equal to the ground speed minus the wind speed. When flying in a tailwind, you have to increase ground speed so that the plane does not stall. This version weighs 185 grams. The wing loading is 0.99 kilograms per square meter. The flight autonomy is about 8 minutes. It is also noted that large diameter propellers cannot be fitted to this aircraft, because the torque would cause the roll of the aircraft. Remember that torque is directly proportional to the mass and angular velocity of the propeller, but it is proportional to the square of the propeller diameter. That is, if we increase the diameter twice, the torque will increase four times. In these lightweight models, it is best to use small diameter propellers with three or four blades. Now we see some images of the flight of the plane. And this is all. Thank you. Lupi.